Hello, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Dr. Sharma. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, controller action methods. In our previous session, we discussed about how do we add a controller and now we will see how do we add action methods into controller. I will just give an overview of what we had done in our previous session. So, how do we add a controller? So, right click on controllers and go to the option add, add a new controller. Select MVC 5 empty controller and click on add. It prompts you to give a controller name, define the controller name, some we defined as products. As we discussed the rules of controller, the controller must have the suffix controller. Okay. So, we are adding a controller. We discussed that controller can be added in two ways that is uh, with scaffolding and without scaffolding. So, you can watch the previous video to know about how do we add the controllers. So, we added a controller and uh, this is a controller called products. So, what a controller comprises of in MVC? So, we will discuss about that. Controller is a collection of methods that respond to various HTTP requests. Actually, MVC controller, MVC controller is uh, an ordinary C sharp class. It can contain so ordinary methods. So, we call them as uh, non action methods or it may contain action methods. Controller is just a C sharp class that comprises of both non action methods and methods. What are action methods? Non action methods are general your methods that you create in your C sharp classes. Action methods are the methods that specially respond to various HTTP actions. Various HTTP actions like get, post, put, delete like actions. So, a controller class can contain both action methods and non action methods. Non action methods will not respond to the client request. Action methods intention is to respond to the client request. Then how to classify the action methods and non action methods? How do we track these methods and action methods? Let us see, how do we identify the action methods? How MVC controller identifies its action methods. What are the basic rules to create action methods? The first important rule is every controller action method must be public in access. Every controller action method must be public in access. That means, you have to create a controller action method in such a way so that it is invocable by anybody. That means, any client can invoke directly by URL request. That means, it should be public in access. Now, if the question comes like cannot we create a private method in controller? You can create a private method or a protected or internal method in controller, but controller will not recognize it as an action method. And if it is not an action method, then it will not respond to HTTP requests. So, controller action methods will respond to HTTP requests. In order to do so, every controller action method must be public in access. Second important point, controller action method, it cannot be static. Controller action method cannot be static because the controller action methods are need to be invoked by a controller object. If the controller methods has to be invoked by controller object, then it should be a non-static. So, every controller action method cannot be static. So, if you want as an action method, then it should be a non-static method. Next important point is controller action methods, it must return a value. That means, it must be defined, it must be defined with a written type, written type. That means, it cannot be void, it cannot be void. 
every controller action method must return a value because client invokes the method directly from URL. If client invokes the method directly from URL, then it should return some response to that request. So, that means every controller action method is going to respond to the client request. How it will respond to client request? It should return some data as response. So it returns some it should return some content to response. So, that is the reason it is very important that every controller action method must return a value. Return a value means actually you can create an void method without parameters to return values. So, that is the reason controller action method cannot be void, controller action method must be defined with a return type. So, that means it must return a value, but it cannot be void and it must be defined with a return type and very important is controller action methods can be parameterized, it can be parameterized, parameterized or parameterless. If controller action method is parameterless, then you can just invoke the method. If controller action method is parameterized, that means it is expecting some parameters, then we need to pass the parameters. Generally how the parameters are passed because controller action methods are invoked by URL request. If controller methods are invoked by URL request, that means you have to pass the parameters in the URL. Generally how do we pass the parameters? So, parameters are passed, passed into URL as query strings are passed into URL as query string. So, a controller action method can be parameterized or parameterless. If it is parameterized, then the parameters must be passed as query strings. However, if we are implementing routing, then we have a different mechanism of passing the parameters that we will detailly discuss while learning about the concept of routing. So, a controller action method can be parameterized or parameterless, but very important is it cannot have a reference or out parameters. It cannot have reference or out parameters. A controller action method can have any type of parameters, but specially it cannot have reference and out parameters. And you know the reference and out parameters purpose, that means you are trying to return some values through out parameters even if it is a void method and we discussed that controller action methods cannot be void. That means it is important that so it cannot have reference and out parameters and another important is it cannot have it cannot have open generic types. Controller action methods cannot have open generic types. That means you cannot create a method with generic types because generic types are type safe. So, every controller action method must be strongly typed that means it should exactly know what it is going to return. So, it cannot have any generic types. So, you cannot have any open generic types into a controller action method. Another important point is controller action methods can overload. Obviously, controller action methods need to overload. Why? Because whenever we create a con method generally methods will respond to two types of requests. One is a get request, another one is an post request. When a method is responding to two types of requests, we need to write the method, same method several times, but with different types of signatures. So, that is the reason a controller action method can overload. That means, it can be written with a get, with a post, with a put or a delete with different, different functionalities. But uh, controller action methods cannot override. That means, controller action method cannot, it cannot be an extension method. It cannot be an extension method. Controller action methods cannot be extension methods. That means, they are not overriding methods. That means, you cannot use some virtual methods, abstract methods to override here. A controller action method cannot be an extension method. So, that is the reason you cannot override and it cannot be an extension method means it cannot be any method 
it cannot be any method method of controller base class it cannot be any method of controller base class that means you cannot use because all the controllers in mvc are derived from a controller base class so you cannot use any base class method here so again as an action method in case you are doing that that means you are trying to override the method or you are trying to hide the method which is not possible to do right so controller action methods cannot be any method of controller base class and another important point controller action methods cannot be marked with non action attribute controller action methods cannot be marked with non action attributes actually non action is an attribute which is used to designate non action methods so accidentally if you define this attribute to any action method so it is not going to work as an action method so you have to make sure that it is not an uh, it is not configured with a non action attribute right so these are all the basic rules that we have to follow in order to create a controller so by following these rules let's create a controller uh, action method and see visual studio you can see here we already created a controller called products into the products controller we need to create an action method so how do we create an action method as per the rules we discussed it must be public in access okay and a controller action method cannot be static that's fine it cannot be void that's okay it must return a value and uh, what it can return actually controller action can return various values as of now we will create a controller action method that returns just plain string in the browser of course it can return integer float double any type of value we will just create a controller action method so with a return type string because every controller action method must return a value and we will give the method name as hello and what this method have to return because its return type is string it should say some welcome to mvc let's create another action method just to know that what type of actions uh, what type of results it can return i will create another action method here this time i will make it as integer and i will say add into this we will pass two parameters int a and int b so if it is return type integer then obviously it has to return addition of these two numbers here so that is a plus b so we created controller action methods so one to return a string another one to return a uh, integer so let's see how these controller action methods are going to respond so we will start our application so press f5 to debug and run your application now we created a controller here and the controller name is products we have two action methods in order to create those two action methods we followed all the rules so that we have defined about the controller methods so one method is hello another method is add hello method is going to return a string and add method is going to return some value and one more important thing you see here hello is a method without any parameters and add is a method with parameters and we already discussed just now in this video session that add uh, is a method with parameters if it is having parameters then parameters must be passed as query strings let's see so i will go to the browser and in the browser i will uh, invoke my controller action what is the controller action controller name is products and the action name is hello and hit enter so when i click on hello and enter it has to get me that string result that means it is going to return me that string result now how about the controller method with is returning an integer value so we will call that add function add and we need to pass two parameters into it are those parameters mandatory once verify yes these are mandatory why because you see that these parameters are integer type and integer type parameters are value types that means they are non nullable types in c sharp so it's mandatory to pass the values otherwise you will get a null exception right 
Okay, so how do we pass the parameters? We need to pass the parameters as query string. How do we pass as query string? So question mark, what is the first parameter expected? A is equal to some 10. How do we pass multiple parameters in the query string? Ampersand, some B is equal to 20 and hit enter, you can get the result 30. So that means now the controller action method is expecting two parameters, we are passing the parameters. And uh, here we have two controller action methods, one returning string, another returning integer. This is how we have to create the action methods. So we just created controller action methods to return some string, to return some integer and other type of values. But we have to understand how controller action methods are responsible for handling framework level operations. Framework level operations means how they can communicate with a view, how they can communicate with the model, get the data from model and pass to view. I want controller action methods not just to return some string or integer, I want them to perform framework level operations that we can do by using action results. That is the very important concept to understand about action methods. So how do we use action results with action methods that we will discuss in the next video session, right. Thank you.